So it is time to do some leveling. Um, I already went ahead and dumped all these piles out, as you saw, because sometimes you just gotta work with what you're given, and 6 a.m. was just the most opportune time for me to take a dump out here all across my lawn. So the reason why I am doing this leveling is just because I have some low spots, I have some dips and bumps, um, and where I put in the irrigation, the trench lines have just settled, and so there's some really low spots there, um, and so we need to straighten it back out now i am not real mowing so i do not need to this to be perfectly flat but if i'm doing it if i'm killing it if i have bare dirt i might as well go ahead and try to smooth it out as much as possible so i want to talk about the tools i'm using the material i'm using and why i'm using it why i'm not using something else um, and then we're going to get to the spread <laughs> First thing I'm using is this level lawn tool here. This is probably going to be the main thing I use today. Um, it is kind of pricey, I won't lie to you, but it does a really good job. So um, I think there's DIY ones out there, but you just kind of have to pick and choose because this thing is probably better built than those. Um, so something to look into if you do a lot of leveling like this. Second thing I'm going to be using is this DIY uh, level drag right here. I made this out of two by fours with the help of the shortcut lawn. Thank you very much. This thing is super simple to build. Um, it's just made out of two by fours. Um, it's got a little spot here to put something um, with some weight. I use these blocks right here. Um, and then just some eye hooks and some rope. If you are going to be, I think this thing's intended mainly just to use by hand. That's how I use it, um, just drag it, pulling it. If you're going to try to hook this up to something to drag it, I suggest putting the eye bolt uh, down on the bottom facing forward because it will have less issue with tipping forward. If you have a big area, you can use like your zero turn, or if you have a four wheeler or something, you can use that. And a lot of people use these big leveling drags. Um, you can build those. I'm not handy enough to build those. And so I have this right here. This is a made by Lanzi. This is an eight foot leveling drag. Very sturdy, very heavy duty. Um, pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but I will leave a link down below if you wanna check that out. That thing will last a lifetime. If you take care of it, if you're not running over bricks and crap like that, that thing will last a lifetime. And so I have a project coming up uh, in about a week. I'm going to be using that. And so I will show you guys all about that thing. But if you want to check it out right now, I will leave a link down below. Lastly, I know there's a big debate, a lot of questions between topsoil, sand, uh, something else for leveling. I am using mason sand right here. Um, I'm not using topsoil except right in this spot right here just so I could do a mix to test it out and see how it does. If I were doing anything, I would actually probably do majority sand, a little bit of topsoil, a little bit of peat, mix that up, um, and let it ride. But since that mixture is so dang expensive, um, and I just don't want to pay for that here, um, and then to mix it up myself would just be a pain in the butt. And I guess I'm lazy, I don't know, but I don't want to do that, so I'm just going straight sand. And so for those of you who say you can't grow grass seed in sand, when I did my leveling on this hill right here, um, there was a big divot all the way down the hill. We put probably 12 inches of sand in the deepest part all the way down the hill, and that was actually the spot that grew in the best, better than any other spot that it did. And so for those of you who say you can't grow in sand, Watch me. I'm like your see me these salmon the wild west. I just laugh at them when they wear best cause it's head shots on sight. I don't do beef, I just lay it to rest. I'm so hungry, my boss sound malicious. On my journey, you're chasing my riches. I got so many reasons that I gotta make it, so I wake up and I go pee. I move like I'm the mob in my all black. You ain't down with my squad, you can fall back. If you never seen greatness, then you about to witness and you gon' know what you should call that. Every song that I've been on is a hit like a ball back. I took some losses, but I got them all back. Been at the bottom and I'm never going back. I'm fully focused and I'm on track. I'm tired of waiting. I'm running. 
running out of patience. I'm about to make my move right now. I'm about to make my move right now. I'm tired of waiting. I'm running out of patience. I'm about to make my move right now. I'm about to make my move right now. I'm tired of waiting. I'm running out of patience. I'm about to make my move right now. I'm about to make my move right now. Pro tip from someone who's not a pro. If you do decide to invest in one of these level lawns and you have a small lawn like myself, or if you have a small area that you are leveling, you can actually use this thing as a leveling drag. Yeah, I came yeah. up straight from the bottle. Put on the gas, yeah, that's the throttle. I get the smash cause I get the bottle. Deep people mad cause I get the bottle. I'm changing lanes in my auto. Get to the bag is my motto. I'm coming up cause I stay down. Grind so hard I can't slow down. Death was giving stuff much of fun. I wrapped it up and now it's a drum. If you wanna play What in the is that? So that is wild Bermuda. I know that this will not kill that. It will come back because I think it actually likes being burned. Um, but I'm going to have to spray one more time after I finish leveling. Okay, so that is it. That is leveling. Honestly, I, it did a lot. I used two and a half yards on 4,000 square feet, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If I wanted this completely smooth, I would probably need another three or four yards to do the back and the side yard. So way, way bumpy, a ton of divots. This is crazy. Um, but since I'm not real mowing, I'm not too worried about it. Since I won't be in this house a whole lot longer, I'm not too worried about it. Um, the part in the backyard that you see right there, I focused way more of my efforts. You could probably tell I had a lot more sand because I have an idea of something I'm gonna do right there. Um, but that being said, I cannot wait to put my seed down, get the lawn. Gosh dang it. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this one final time with glyphosate. I'm not gonna film it. Um, and then the next step is grass seed. I cannot wait until this is grown in and I can trim mow, edge blow. Right here. Trim mow, edge blow. That's the only order I will accept. The only way to do it. Just kidding. Comment down below, actually, uh, your order. Um, the Lawn Tools sent me this shirt. They have different orders. Um, comment your order down below, and then I'm gonna pick some random winners. I've got a couple hats. I've got some My Soil test kits here. Um, and then I've got more where this came from. So the next video in the seating, I'm gonna give away more stuff. Um, in the video after that, I'll probably give away more stuff because I have a lot of stuff to give away before the fall is over and winter is coming. So that is it. We'll see you when it's time to seed. Thank you.